Look at the mailbag. I've got a few interesting items here, so make sure you stick around. See what's going on. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. So the first item here, I'm not quite sure what it is. Make sure you give us a thumbs up on the videos, it's really important these days. I'm getting hammered with thumbs down. I need to uh, try and counteract that. They're not legitimate thumbs down. Because legitimate thumbs down usually include negative comments. I'm not getting, really getting many negative comments, so it's just someone hammering me for the sake of hammering me. Potentially a whole bunch of false accounts, so I just need a bit of help, just give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe as well if you're not already subscribed. As I say, any problems, please contact us. Please don't leave negative feedback, don't open a case. All good, please leave positive feedback. What is it? Some thermal grease. And, ha ha ha, okay. Here's a CPU. Not in any packaging, it's got a bit of foam on the back to protect the back of it. Not the best, is it? It's also a used CPU. So Intel Xeon X5690, 5690. 3.46 gigahertz, I think it's 12 megabytes of cache, six core. Just checking for fingerprints on the bottom, there might be some. I think that needs cleaning before I put that in. Not impressed that it's not in a little case. I think that needs to go clean before I put that into a machine. I've actually ordered two from two different suppliers. It's just cheaper doing it that way, but I'm getting both at once, because I was able to got hit with duty, believe it or not. So I'll do it from two different people and get two packages sent. It's cheaper to pay the extra postage than it was to buy both together and pay tax on it coming in. <sighs> yeah, anyway, so that's my machine, my Mac Pro. I'm going to be upgrading it from the current, was it 2.9 gigahertz, I think it is? to 3.46, so it should help my video encoding speed and um, give me some better performance, which is kind of important, because since my videos tend to be, once I've encoded them, are usually between one and a half gigabytes up to about four and a half, five gigabytes um, once I've done a video, depending on the length of the video, obviously. So it takes a bit of power for my machine. It takes a while to work on these videos. So that's, I've got another one. Maybe, maybe it's in this package here. We'll see. So I'll be doing a video on the actual upgrade of that machine as well, and I'll do that. So when I go to install these, I'll, I'll record that process and hopefully be helpful to someone. Oh, it's another CPU, and it's not packaged very well either, the looks of it. Oh no, it's, in, it's at least in an anti-static bag. I'll give them some credit. Thermal compound in a little bag. It's the same brand as, as the other tube in the other one. This one doesn't have a sticker on the bottom of it. And the first one does have a sticker on the bottom of it. I think I'll take the sticker off because I don't trust the fact that uh, someone's put a sticker on the back of the bottom of the processor. I'll have to use my tweezers to pick that off. I actually can't get it in my fingernail. Doesn't look right it's being on there. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. Again, it's the same processor, but it should be. It's got the same year, X5690, same specs, another Xeon. So again, this is, because I've got a dual processor machine, so it's 12 cores. You need a bit of power, you need a bit of power. So here's the CPUs. There's um, one of them. That's what I purchased, two of those. Notice this one's at least in an anti-static bag. It looks like it's been well treated. This one here, not so much. I'm a bit suspicious about the whole sticker being shoved on the back thing. I think I'm going to take that off. And there looks like some residue on the pins. So it looks like it. it's a bit of an interesting one. It should be you know, exactly the same unit. There you go. See a little bit of that too. Exactly the same specs as the other one. But it looks like it hasn't been treated so well. So I'm going to take the sticker off. I don't want to have a sticker in there. I think that's a bad idea. Gotta wonder what they're thinking. But I don't even see that residue on those pins or not. You can see it in the light. Like a, there's like a circle around the centre. I can kind of see it. It's like a darker area here. Yeah, suspicious. Anyway, I'll give that a clean up of IPA before I put that in the unit. So you hope yes, my computer upgrade sorted out. Well, that'll be maxed out then as fast as I can go on my computer. These were 
think they're about 150 bucks each or something, New Zealand. Well, no, 150 bucks US each. Next thing, you'll see what's in here. I think it feels like service mount components in a strip. Sure enough, service mount components in a strip. So I believe the only thing I was waiting for, yeah, were 0603 fuses. Yeah, these are fuses. So these are just for map it repair stuff. Might be able to use them other things too one day, but that's my primary reason for getting them. Nothing exciting. Next thing. It rattles a lot. Now it's getting hot in here. I'm not turning the air conditioning back on again. Grab when summer's over. Hmm. Just in a minute. Okay, here we go. Mostly empty boxes, as you can see, hopefully. Not much in those. So these are USB micro mounts. So are those. These are all USB micro connectors. So, and there's USB minis in there, a couple of USB minis. Yep, micro USB connectors. So again, it's just a case of stocking up. I don't actually have a specific need, but you often need these kinds of things. These are all supposed to be slightly different. I'm just making sure they are. Yeah, there are some slight differences between them all. As there should be, so that's great. So two boxes, got this one first. So you can actually get two versions of these connectors, or two packages available. So I've got the larger package with the more options. Got some USB micros. And there was some minis, I did see some minis. These are all micros. Different kind of package styles. So obviously for various phones and accessories and tablets and that sort of stuff. And there's the other set which has got some minis in there, some minis over here. Generally I don't like micro sockets because I think they're actually too weak. They're not very robust, they break a lot. Having to replace them is a bit of a pain. I mean I just think the quality is not there. It's something that Apple have done well. They've really got that lightning connector which is quite robust. The cable itself is crap. But the connector is really robust, so the you know they should use those connectors with decent cables, and it would have been alright. But USB mini, I mean, well, mini and micro, mini is definitely better than micro. I prefer mini, but micro is um, it's very very weak. It's not robust at all. You have to be really gentle with them. You need a little bit of, a little bit of salvage leverage on a cable when you break the connector off the board, uh, or you know you damage the connector itself. It has little fingers inside there get damaged or. The plugs are really fragile as well. I just don't like the micro USBs. They're just, they're just rubbish, really. I don't like them, but they're so prolific now. Yeah. It is what it is. Anyway, here's a connect. So there's, there's big links down below for these as well from Banggood. I think I've got from Banggood. Make sure you give my videos a thumbs up. Very important. And thanks to my Patreon supporters and stuff like that. It's always very nice having the support. Uh, okay, all right, this is a hard case. Hard-ish case, let's have a look. I've got this for my audio control, it's a 3050. The idea of this is that I can mount this onto the casing of the unit and I can put the microphone in here and, and um, loop up the cable. If it's big enough, I mean, I put, purchased a couple of different cases, I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to end up using. It's got this little tabby, I can either sort of attach it with a carabiner onto like the handle of it or something, so it hangs off the side, or I can actually bolt it onto the casing, possibly. Um, being a hard case, it means I can actually just drill a hole through it and mount it on there, so I don't lose it, and I can actually keep the microphone and the cable in this case, instead of just around the unit, making a mess. So... We'll see how that goes. So, 
to the bench, I suppose. Right, so this is this hard case I was looking at. So as you can see, it's just a nice little case. It's got a little pocket in there. There's that little carabiner thing, which was like a nice spring, nice enough spring. Double zip, little elastic strapping. So the idea, I'll go and get the microphone, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So here's the microphone. So the idea is I can sort of tuck that in there maybe like that. And here's the cable, which is currently kind of wrapped up in itself. Just untangle this. Wrap it up tight enough to go inside this, this case and just sit in there. That's the plan at least. Yes, and I'm not doing this properly. I should be, um, you should go one way, like you should go clockwise like that, and the next one you go the opposite way like that, or something. You sort of go the opposite direction. So it reverses the twist. I'm a bit lazy, so. But I do know about that. I don't use this a lot, so the fact that these cables are getting twisted up is not really that much of an issue, I don't think. Right, that's the cable in there. One strap under it, hold it down, and that closes. Perfect, it actually fits. Excellent, I'm happy with that, that's good. So I was tempted to actually attach it to the case of the unit. But I think just sticking that onto the handle would probably be enough and have it hang off the side. But hopefully that's my computer upgrade sorted out. Ooh, other way. So here's these USB connectors. Let's zoom in a bit more. Oh. Zoom in. <laughs>